Hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your SOS messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So, Virgo, let's go ahead and find out what your SOS messages are and what you need to know about your current situation, okay? Regardless of the date or the time that you get this video, if it resonates for you, then it's meant for you, okay? So, Virgo, let's find out what your SOS messages are. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Okay, don't worry. Um, okay. I'm saying don't worry or don't give in to any ideas that um, you're on the wrong path because you are on the right path. Slow and steady wins the race. Some of you Virgos, take a moment, pause, reflect what's happening. Uh, there is a sense of transformation and it may be taking um, its time, but know that you guys are headed on the right path here. And there may be something here with a significant transformation when it comes to um, you know, one's professional life, um, when it comes to also, um, how you're feeling, um, that you're being guided here. Cause I feel a lot of you Virgos there's something about you guys having triumph. If you just take it slow. Okay. Um, I do feel some of you Virgos may have gone through some type of, um, change or ending here possibly possibly with another earth sign um but i do feel a lot of you guys are going to have some type of um triumph and also know that you are being divinely protected at this time as a lot of you virgos are going through a real sense of um spiritual transformation that's helping you guys enhance your abilities and really make progress when it comes to a reliable path for you okay uh, we got Scorpio energy coming through. We got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through with the Knight of Pentacles. What else for Virgo? So Virgo, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, ooh, and your Venus signs. Yes, life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve, not on what you haven't. So some of you guys, you may be feeling like... <laughs> We're stuck at some type of ending here. It could have been very painful for some of you guys. Life is too short though, Virgo. And you have to trust that there is something flourishing. Even when something has gone away, it's just making room for something more prosperous, better, um, and reliable on your path, okay? There may be something going on for some of you Virgos with an unmasking or um, an unveiling of some type of truth. There could have been some, you know, deception, lies, um, dealing with uh, people, situations, or whatever you had to go through. Maybe for some Virgos, it was even having to face one's own um, negative aspects and shadows, okay? But I do see this um, situation where a lot of you guys, you've got what it takes right now to move forward. I am seeing this big pentacle as a beautiful shield here. So there is something about you guys already um, or coming into a place that you've created some sense of stability or security or you're really on that path. Okay, so really trust what's going on right now because I know some of you guys are getting challenged with that. Okay, life is too short. What else? So Virgo, you can also check out the past uh, messages as well. Uh, those are all timeless, okay? You are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. See, I just can tell that you guys are really on a steady path. So no matter what's going on, don't question things. Even So some of you, again, just take some time right now to... Um, take it slow okay it's not about going fast right now in fact there may be some real good opportunities in seeing um a, seeing something or getting some information from some type of change and ending here with the death card okay some of you guys i am seeing a total like um death of an old self here okay and a, and a, a rising of a new and I love that you are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. 
I do get the Six of Wands energy and possible, possibly the Star card energy. So I do feel a lot of you, um, you know, Virgos, you're really meant to uh, shine on your path. You're meant to, um, you know, have a good reputation or some type of good influence. I just feel a lot of you Virgos are really determined and at heart and your hard workers at heart when you guys really have a goal or you can see steady progress okay so keep on shining don't let anything um pull you off your path okay or get you distracted <clears throat> what else manifestation is the fruition of confidence and belief knight of pentacles here you are okay belief this is why some of you take it slow because there may be a, a um you know, more information coming your way to Virgo that's going to help you guys create and manifest something or um, to realize and see what is coming uh, to you from um, the past efforts and determination that I see that you guys have been putting forth here with that Knight of Pentacles. What else for Virgo? She who divines future choice and judgment. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, you might be questioning your path. You might be trying to figure things out. Some of you, this is the time to really trust and have confidence in your own judgment. Um, because a lot of you Virgos have learned something here from the past. And some of you, again, they're, take it slow because there may be some valuable information Um that you guys are receiving here that's going to help you guys with your future um and i do see she who divines right um and actually um actually it's the death card and it's the seven of cups uh that she's actually holding here so i am seeing a transformation happening when it comes to a couple of things um, getting out of state of confusion or, um, you know, for some of you guys, uh, seeing the truth in temptations or things that could lead you off the wrong path. And for, um, and the other thing that I'm getting is dreams being realized here, Virgo. Um, and so transformation had to take place in order for dreams uh, to come to fruition, okay? I really get a lot of you Virgos may resonate with Gemini's reading as well, okay? You may have Gemini placements in your chart. Um, now, some of you Virgos, uh, you know, there could be a situation where, yeah, you uh, could be uh, tapping into um, different information or divinity tools to help you decide and make choices. Um, but the most important thing is is no matter what choice you do make, if you're faced with a choice, is to just have the confidence in your decision, okay? Like an unwavering confidence. Um, and that is going to give you guys uh, the most and the best and the quickest results. And I just want to emphasize that you guys really are on the right path, okay? No matter what is happening or challenges that you might be faced with. What else for Virgo? Yeah, some of you Virgos, you probably even put an end to some things here too, right? To clear your path. Yeah, expect something new. I'm really getting Magician energy uh, coming through here and um, Ace of Pentacles. A beautiful opportunity is um, going to shower in your life here. So open yourself up by not clinging on to the past or what has happened here or what we cannot change. Because some Virgos, this is about complete surrender, right? Maybe even accepting the dark aspects of life and just understanding that without that darkness, we cannot have light. It has to work together anyways, okay? Um, what else for Virgo? But what I'm seeing is you guys um, clearing the path for an opportunity here. 
and we have compromise within the next few weeks could there be something here where you guys um come together and make two things work or do you guys keep continuing clearing your path for things that aren't working right let's get a little bit more with this compromise and there's something that's going to happen within the next few weeks here <clears throat> some of you guys i'm seeing a choice here so use good judgment um virgo there's going to be something that's popping up in your near future here where you're going to have a, a decision to make and you're going to really have to look at the pros and the cons of a situation um i do feel a lot of you really do have the ability to get the guidance that you need um, and you will get the information that you need if you're open to it um, to help you guys make decisions um, especially when it comes to not compromising this beautiful path that you guys really are on okay i want a little bit more with the compromise for virgo Okay, not the right time. Oh my goodness. I'm getting something about you guys waiting for something to arrive here as well. Or there may be something with you getting something first. It's almost like um, another Zodiac, but I can't remember. Uh, so we got compromise, not the right time. So some of you guys, it might not be the right time right now. If there's something that you guys are trying to um, bring together because it has to happen in the perfect timing here. Um, I do see some of you guys, you need to do something right now to using your good judgment and discernment, not to um, compromise the integrity of your um, path or uh, things that, you know, that you that you really value, um, you know, and that's what's important to and what's important to Virgo here. OK, I want a little bit more to. <clears throat> And I'm looking at this word judgment and I'm just looking at the um, death card here and in judgment and judgment card has, you know, a situation where we are um, rising up in the past, past situations, lessons, a sense of rebirth. OK, so I feel that a lot of you um, are really on a path of creating good choices for yourself that's going to carve something beautiful, especially when it comes to um, results that, um, you know, Virgo, that you need to see to uh, make sure that you guys can maintain and keep continuing um, a steady path here. Oh my gosh, not the right time. Oh my goodness. So it will be the right time when it is the right time. Look at this. We even had destruction, and I feel like this card wants to show itself too. Oh yes, change. There is going to be change, and a lot of you guys have to be really strong at this time too. And I am seeing a lot of you Virgos. Right now is not the right time, but give it a few weeks or possibly a few months, um, you know, because time is uh, fluid here. But I am getting a situation where... Um, <clears throat> It's going to happen at divine timing and there is also something about divine intervention at play here because something um, probably got thrown off your path for some of you guys um, because it was going to compromise uh, your health or um, something that is um, meant for you guys to have or to maintain because it's like you guys are really on a steady path here right and so I'm seeing a situation here too where something could have fallen apart and been destroyed um, in order for it not to compromise the path that you're on. And also, uh, there's also a, something that's going to happen here when it, when it comes to change and possibly um, getting some type of communication or conversation here. Could be an air sign, they don't have to be, but I do see something happening fast. Um, 
when the time comes, okay? Now, the other thing that I'm seeing too is Spirit is saying something is not the right time to take fast, quick action or to destroy something. Now, for some of you guys, remember, it's about slow and steady. Obviously, if something is not healthy for you, <clears throat> We need to we need to uh, take that away. But um, I'm just seeing something that if you you know go too fast, um, it might end up you know more uh, uh, worse off than we need it to be. Okay. Some of you Virgos may, may need to take things a little slow, drive slow, or something like that. Okay. There could have been or, yeah, I just feel that there's something about um, watching out for speed in things right now. Okay. What else for a uh, Virgo? This one wants to show itself. The beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek. Reconnect today. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys just need to take your time. Remember, the Knight of Pentacles is about being slow here. So reconnect with nature, maybe um, animals or whatever is important to you. Uh, garden, I don't know, just whatever you guys can connect to, um, to get grounded here and to, um, you know, just feel solid and to take a little time um, for some of you guys, because there's been a, a tremendous amount of changes here. So <clears throat> it's like some of you guys just need to recharge too. Ooh, three of them, no, two of them came out here. She who whispers and she who surprises. Oh, some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys, you're going to get something revealed to you. Now, for some of you Virgos, you may get a confession. Um, someone, there might be a shocking surprise here when it comes to secrets revealed or sh um, a confession here. Um, there is going to be a huge re revelation anyways that's going to take place <clears throat> and it's all going to give you guys um, beautiful changes. So whatever enormous changes that you guys go through uh, or are going through, it is bringing you guys um, beautiful blessings in your life. So I do feel that there may be something here with um, keeping some things to yourself that you know you want to keep to yourself. <clears throat> but also, I'm just seeing something about possibly getting secrets revealed or confessions here but um remain curious about what is going to happen on your path don't get too attached to two you know to um one specific idea here because the idea is some type of opportunity that you're meant to receive here virgo okay and spirit wants you guys to be um open to receiving this what else for a uh, virgo Some of you guys, whatever this thing is about she who divines or whatever you guys are doing, you could even make money at it for some of you Virgos. But anyhow, um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of you Virgos uh, having something working out in your favor here. So a lot of you Virgos, take your time that you need. I do feel that there is going to be something here that's going to happen within the next few weeks. It's going to make you guys feel pretty solid about your opportunity also about how you're feeling in life and being more than enough um, ready for the next uh, situation or maybe even partnership for some of you uh, Virgos, okay? I feel a lot of you guys, what I'm seeing is, okay, she, she who surprises, we have this thing of discovery and I'm noticing the queen of pentacles is in the water here. So it's like she died, she went diving deep here. And she rose up and got this beautiful um, golden uh, pentacle here. So there's something that is, again, happening with you guys and your transformation. Um, don't be scared of any type of revelation that you do get, because I want to say that for some of you guys. OK, um, some of you guys, uh, you're, you really are meant to shine and be prosperous and be very accomplished. OK, so. Um, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Some of you, you may need to uh, create some strong boundaries in order to take care of yourself and to listen to that inner guidance because it's um, actually quite important for a lot of you Virgos, especially the ones that are 
um, already on a, a very solid and steady path, okay? <clears throat> what else for uh, Virgo? Now the Queen of Wands. I feel a lot of you guys are meant to really channel any of your negative energies if you do have them into positive here. But I do see something about you guys having the confidence um, and being bold enough. Some of you guys, there's something about being bold enough to charge ahead um, when the opportunity strikes here. I want a little bit more about the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Some of you guys have to know that you're going to be um, blessed with more enough, more than enough creative uh, ideas and um, situations for yourself here to be successful. Give me more about the Queen of Wands. And the other thing that I'm seeing is Virgo. I'm seeing some of you Virgos actually, you've done this already, or you're going to be in a place where some of you guys are really going to destroy the th destroy what's not necessary in one's life and create something um, that is far uh, much better for you and others involved here. Okay. So don't be afraid to take action. <clears throat> she who nurtures. Oh my goodness. And she is even in the water too. And I was noticing. Yeah. So you guys ha have a lot of water in your chart too. Even in the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands are both in um, water here. So I feel there's something going on here too with moderation, balance, maintaining balance. Some of you Virgos, um, you know, do what you guys got to do to maintain, um, you know, your health too. Don't overdo things or overindulge in things. Right now it's about just uh, being, uh, you know, pretty grounded and solid so that you guys aren't missing any opportunities. Okay. So I do feel you Virgos also are, um, either have someone or someone is destined to be on your side here that could definitely bring you, um, a lot of creative ideas and energy when it comes to insight when it comes to um, also learning more about your own intuition, learning more about um, the sensitivities that you might be picking up from yourself and others as well, okay? Um, and utilizing this for your benefit and not um, having it, um, you know, be a negative thing, okay? Because for some, uh, some people, they, they, you know, some people can't handle a lot of the things that they're feeling and doing. And so, you know, they kind of go a little stir crazy here, but, um, make sure you guys are nurturing yourself. And I do feel a lot of you Virgos, you really are this energy of the King or the queen of, um, what, well, you know, I would say the emperor or the empress, uh, very capable of, um, you know, being gentle, having insight and helping others being a strong leader as well in some aspect here okay there's a mother energy coming through too or a maternal feminine energy coming through as well okay so did some of you guys some of you some of you virgos might have had some insight on some secrets about a situation i do pick up like three of swords energy for some of you guys or even seven of swords energy there may have been something about another person or um <clears throat> or something else got in the way here uh for some of you virgos okay not all of you but for some of you um what else for virgo forgiveness oh my goodness <laughs> so i feel a lot of you guys are gonna be uh getting something here when it comes to getting creative for some of you guys to channel because some of you guys i'm picking there could be there could be a little bit of you know triggering there could be a little anger here you know just fire energy where we need to kind of calm it down with some water here so it doesn't get too uh, bubbly okay because we have this thing about forgiveness and there's something that's going to happen within the next few weeks. So, you know, 
use good judgment here. And if you want forgiveness um, in a situation with someone or something, oh my goodness, it's here, Virgo. It really is here, okay? Some of you guys already have insight or you will get insight um, about your future. What else for Virgo? Yeah, no need to worry. No need to worry. And don't worry in your capabilities either, okay? But yes, no need to worry. It's all happening. Something is resolving itself if you just take your time and take it slow right now. And speaking of, <clears throat> I am getting like Queen and King of Cups here too. So I just feel that there's something about you um, just kind of um, getting to a place where uh, for some of you guys of understanding of, uh, you know, and doesn't mean you have to agree, doesn't mean you have to agree, but just come to a place of understanding. Um, because for some of you Virgos, you know, I'm just, you know, we could uh, with that Knight of swords, um, we could really be in our power here, but remember swords can you know, either make us feel victory or it can cut. It could be victorious or cut. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see. What else for Virgo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just have confidence right now. There's something about you guys um, feeling assured in a situation so some of you just need to break free possibly from a situation that we, you know, that maybe we can't change or just break free in your creative abilities, um, you know, breaking free from fears or um, insecurity issues, okay? The time has come. The time has come here. And we got the strength card here. Oh, excuse me, wrong card. I was picking the queen of wands. Manifestation is the fruition of confidence and belief, which really is Queen of Wands energy too. I mean, hello. Okay. So it's going to, you know, it, it might take some effort, but over time and after you put some work and effort into it, um, it becomes second nature. It becomes natural. What else? Yeah, I feel a lot of you, you might, there might be a situation that actually gets you guys to escape a situation where you've been held back and you probably didn't even know that you guys were held back. Okay. You didn't realize, oh my goodness. Speaking of um, being held back. Oh my gosh. The eight of wands, uh, eight, excuse me, excuse me, eight of swords. Oh, speaking of eight of wands. Okay. we got the eight of swords and, and the eight of wands. Oh, there's just a lot going on for some of you guys. So I feel a lot of you, um, you know, Virgos, it's about getting out of your head, get grounded here, do what you guys can do um, to maintain balance, especially when it comes to the mind and the heart. Let's get a little bit more with the Eight of Swords for Virgo. Someone's all tied up here too. Some of you are, you mean, are you too busy? Um, is there just too much? Like, what is it, you know, for some, let's see. Your animals and spirit are safe and well and showering you with their love. Oh, I'm getting four of swords energy. You guys need to take it slow and take some time to heal. Some of you, your guides and your angels and even your animal messengers are wanting to communicate to you as well. Okay. And, um, now just for some, I mean, with the death card, there could have been some animals that have passed here, um, as well, but they're letting you know that they are safe and well. I want a little bit more with the eight of swords though. Um, cause the thing is, is spirit is mostly trying to say that you guys are safe and the worry is not necessary. I mean, didn't we even have a card? Yeah, no need to worry. Let's go a bit more with the Eight of Swords. And the other thing I'm seeing is um, Spirit is trying to shower you with love as well. You know, you see this uh, um, arms are opening here. <clears throat> you too, see? 
No need to worry. Out of chaos comes creation, okay? But some of you, you may need to be aware of, um, you know, your own thinking is blocking you from taking a step forward because there is a way that you guys can get out of a, a situation, okay? But some of you would just be willing to um, look at things in a different perspective as well. Um, because some, for some of you guys, the chaos or the changes or whatever has happened here is causing you to um, get into the fear mode. And Spirit is saying, don't, don't be in the fear mode, Virgo. Um, it could just, you know, it could feel like a test from the universe. I know, Virgo, but you guys really are on a reliable path, okay? Some of you need to release um, guilt, I'm hearing as well. What else for Virgo? You need to forgive yourself. Be assertive. Yeah, I feel there's something about some of you, you Virgos creating boundaries or being assertive in a situation. Um, I want a little bit more. I mean, because we do have the strength card. So there is something about you guys having courage and doing something here. I was getting something about boundaries as well. <clears throat> Let's get a little bit more with be assertive for Virgo. Okay, yes, be assertive. You guys are going to... Huh, yes, Spirit has got your back here. Look at this. So when the time comes and you guys know when to say no or yes or, you know, whatever it is, there will always be signs to guide you on your true path. Didn't I say at the beginning, Virgo, you guys... Um, you know, this is a reliable path. You guys are on the right path. Don't question it, okay? Um, divine intervention is at play. If things take slow, it is because divine intervention is at play. Something is unveiling in your life. And for a lot of you Virgos, can I just say something? Where you guys thought that you had to put on a mask or feel like you had to conform, um, you guys are going to be releasing all of that because I see you guys really taking your power, um, being really assertive um about your path and um also being a reliable source for others to and for others to follow for some of you virgos okay what else for virgo okay that's it for those so let's find out um how spirit is helping you virgo How is spirit helping Virgo? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. She who is wild. Didn't I say uh, Virgo to, to get curious about what's next or something like that? Um, because this is about you guys being wild, untamed, and mysterious. Okay, let's, let's go back to, look at this, the whale. Okay, uh, being released from some net here. And how spirit is helping you guys is being wild, okay? <clears throat> and that's what I'm getting is you guys being wild like the queen of wands. She doesn't want to be held back. She wants to be free. She wants to explore. She wants to do things. Um, she is loyal and reliable, but she also knows um, what's, you know, what to feed her spirit and her soul. Okay. And what's going to fuel her. So spirit is helping you guys be more free. Um, that's why I was getting to, for a lot of you Virgos, maybe you let go of, um, maybe, um, guilt, maybe uh, guilt wrapped around secrets or anything like that. You can always confess to spirit. You can always, um, for some of you guys, there may be a person, a confidant that you will be able to express um, some things to, okay? But I do get this thing about you, you uh, and Virgos possibly getting a confession or an apology here too, okay? So it's like the more um, wild and free and mysterious you are, <laughs> the better it is, okay? The more, for some of you guys, the karma burns for some somebody <laughs> in your situation, Okay, let's find out um, what you need to be aware of. <clears throat> hmm, already. Okay. 
Oh, well, there is like a sad departure and this is a card of sadness. There is some solutions here. Just be your authentic self. The more authentic you guys are, the more free you're going to feel. But I do sense that some of you guys are sensing or having to go through a, you know, sense of sad departure as, uh, or just even just a sad, you know, overall sadness. But remember what spirit said the signs will always be there to you know there will always be signs to guide you on your true path and look at the lighthouse okay so some of you guys you need to be aware of um the past the pa past hurts and how long we're lingering there okay um and just be aware of hidden solutions and things that will be revealed here okay let's get maybe one more uh, for what you need to be aware of as well. Communicate clearly. See, there may be something here with you guys. Well, now for some of you guys, you might have an arrival here too out of a period of sadness. Hmm. Communicate clearly, though. So no matter what, no matter what, because there is something about you guys being assertive, being in your power, communi communicating clearly what you guys want, what you don't want. And also, I am seeing something about understanding what happened in the past, understanding good judgment and where we're going um, from this point on and being able to communicate clearly what our needs, what our wants are. OK. Um, because I am seeing these two dolphins seeing eye to eye. I am seeing two of cups energy actually coming through. So I see um, something being healed um, in the heart situation here. Okay, in love. Um, let's find out an outcome for you, Virgo. Potential outcome for Virgo. nice your opportunity and the path you guys are going to see your path clearly that's what i'm getting and i am seeing something brilliant here i'm seeing some new passion there could be a spark of um you know a, you know someone here too uh passionate here but you know the thing is is you guys are um going to see your path clearly here and it's for you to take okay virgo make sure you guys are getting um the rest that you may need or take it a little bit slow because with this ace of wands there's going to be a lot of energy towards this okay um and it's something very positive for you and it is a gift from the heavens here so could happen within the next few weeks so don't worry okay a beautiful opportunity a bright opportunity is headed your way and there's also something about this being so lit up that you can't deny what you're seeing it's very clear okay so i hope that was helpful love and light take care